Hi friends, today I'm gonna to go over our Cinco de Mayo My Work booklet, which you're gonna have one that looks just like this. And Cinco de Mayo means the 5th of May. And so at the bottom it says name and that's where you can write your name. So every time that you have a sheet that says name, you would write your name so that we know it's your work. So I'm just gonna write Mrs. Lesky. I'm gonna start at the top. I'll write my letters on the line. And then we're gonna begin our next job in just a minute after I write my name. You might be celebrating this at your house. Okay, so you're gonna get out your supplies. So you need a box of crayons or if you have a bag of crayons and your glue stick, scissors, and a pencil. Now we're gonna start the first worksheet, which is size sequencing, which means you're going to figure out the size, maybe you're gonna circle the biggest on this page and then you're gonna to change to something else on the next page. So let's look at the first one. So we have the butterflies here and we're gonna figure out which one is the biggest. And then you're just gonna take a crayon and you can circle which one is the biggest. Let's see. I'm gonna take out a red crayon for this one. The biggest one is the largest one. So I know this one is the biggest. And then this is a cactus. And we have to be really careful with cactuses because they have little prickly parts that are sharp. We have to make sure that we touch them maybe on the top. Maybe that would be a safe place. And this one's the biggest. So I'm gonna circle this one. Hmm, look at this one. It looks kind of like a donkey. It could be maybe a pinata. Sometimes friends have pinatas at birthday parties. So I know this is the smallest. This is the medium size. So I'm gonna circle the biggest takes up the most space, the biggest one. And then next, I have a guitar. Hmm. Biggest one would be this one. You might play music on your own instruments at home. Maybe you have a guitar at home that you could practice playing different songs. In Mexico, they practice a lot of songs on Cinco de Mayo and every other day. There we go. So this page, we talked about the biggest items. Now, when I flip it over, it shows different items and we're gonna figure out which ones are the smallest. So you can keep the same color or you can switch. I'm gonna switch for this one to um, blue. Alrighty, let's see. I'm gonna start at the top, the smallest one. Hmm, this one's kind of tricky because it looks like they're the same size. Let's see, this one's the biggest one and these two look like they're the same size. So I would circle both of them. They're equal, same size. And then now, oh look at this little girl. She's all dressed up, playing the guitar. I wonder if she's playing a fast song or a slow song. And I can see that this is the biggest, this is a medium one, and then these two are the same size. So they are the smallest ones. Sometimes you'll have equal sized items and sometimes you'll have one of each. Small, medium, large. Oh, this is my favorite thing right here. I actually just had some for lunch today, salsa. You might try some salsa when your parents make different foods, maybe with some chips or with some tacos. Smallest, this one. Smallest, there's the medium and the largest or the biggest one. And this is the flag of Mexico. So I can see there's a bird on each one. You can see the colors green, white, and red, and this one would be my smallest. If I was going to place them in order, this would be smallest, this would be next, and this would be the biggest, the last one. Smallest to biggest. Okay, now I'm gonna turn over to the next page. We're gonna do something different. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice. This is very good for your writing, to practice straight lines and diagonal lines, curve lines, zigzag lines. For this one, I'm gonna use and orange. And sometimes you practice lines like this when you're cutting as well. This is all very good for your fingers and your hands. So that was my drive the car line. Here I'm gonna go up like a little diagonal line. This, <laughs> this one's so cute, she's dancing. She's got her dancing shoes on. You could play some music and put some fun shoes on and dance around your house. And then, ooh, Here's another one of my favorite things to eat for like my little curved and my hill, some chips. Mmm. 
that might be one of your favorite snacks too. There you go. And then at the bottom, the butterfly is the same color as the flag that we talked about on the previous page, the Mexican flag. So I'm gonna go up and down for my zigzag lines and for my pull down the shades, lots of different types of lines here. Dotted lines, diagonal, here we go. So you could draw the lines, follow them, and then you could even cut them out later. Lines like this too, if you have something like this. Let's see what's on the next page. So this page also has lines that we're going to go over and follow from one side to the other, so left to right. So I'm gonna start right here. This little cactus, I like how it has purple on the top too. And we're gonna go up, and we're gonna come back down like a little hill or a little mountain. I'm gonna go up diagonal, come to the top, the point, and then I'm gonna go down, up, and down. There we go. And here's our little donkey. Same thing, this one's just gonna have a little bit more of a hill. There you go. And this is what Mexico would look like if you saw it on a map. So you might have a map at your house that you could locate Mexico on it. You could see what other places are close by, if, what states are close by, how far Florida would be from Mexico. I've been on, to Mexico on a boat. I've gone on a cruise and gone to Mexico. So we can look at these lines so far and see how different they are, but they're all helping us as we write letters, when we start writing our different letters, writing words, and sentences. I like how this one is. This is very different. So this is the Mexican flag. This, Mexico has green, white, and red. Those are their colors. So check out how this one goes up and down like big, big to the top hills. And then this one is a little bit more smooth. This one looks like kind of like little waves. Okay, friends. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna practice some letters. So I'm gonna get my pencil. I'm gonna switch from crayons to a pencil so that when I'm writing letters, I'm practicing with a different utensil. Sometimes we practice with a tool that's a crayon, sometimes a pencil. So this is S for s s salsa. Salsa, so a capital, now a lowercase capital and then lowercase for snake, S scissors. Our days of the week, we would have capital S for Saturday and for Sunday, and then lowercase for salsa. And next we have a pinata, pa, 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 P. Uh, pop, pop for Mrs. Pop and popcorn. So we would have popcorn with a lowercase p and then Mrs. Pop would be a capital P. P-O-P-P. -P -P. And sometimes we mess up and that's okay. We're just tracing these lines to help us form our letters. And I might just go over it again or sometimes I erase it if I make a little mistake. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, some colors like pink and purple start with P too. Lowercase p. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, let's look at the next letter. So it's G for guitar. So I'm gonna start again, all my letters at the top, just reviewing that. This one looks like a C, and then I'd make my line going across for my G. Duh, guh, duh. Guitar. Some of you might like graham crackers. That starts with a G too. Or g g gum. Maybe you get to try gum one day. Not too much gum though. G g. Hmm. What other things start with a G? You might have a friend's that's first letter starts with a G. I have a friend named Grayson. This would be a capital G since it's his name. 
Next we have B for B, B, butterfly. My name starts with a B, Brooke. So capital for Brooke and then B, lowercase would be for butterfly. B for beach would be a lowercase b right here for beach. You can see when I make a b that I have to pull down the shade line and then I'm gonna make two little circles. Makes it, or two little bellies. Sometimes friends think it's funny to have a belly. And then my lowercase b for the color black or the color blue. And then the last one on this page is C for chips. This is making me hungry. Chips and salsa. Here's our lowercase C for caterpillar and chrysalis. And then a capital C. Oh, we have so many friends in our class that have C's as the first letter of their name. We would always write our names with a capital. On this page, we could do Colton and Cody, and Carr, and Caroline, and Charlotte, and Charlotte, and Charlotte, and Beatrice. Oh, and we have a Greg. Greg would be G. Let's see, what's on the next page? Oh, this is where we practice our name. Wow, and it says Cinco de Mayo. There's a banner right here. You might have a banner hanging in your house around holidays or for someone's birthday. And so this, this little boy, he's dancing. He's having a party, he's having a good time. And it says, I can write my name. So you can write your name. And I have one, two, three, four lines. So I can write it four different times. And so I'm going to start at the top. And I'm going to pull down the shade. And I'm going to show you how I'd write Mrs. Lusky. And just like when you write your name, you start with a capital letter. And then you have the rest of your letters would be lowercase for your first name. And then I have a little period when I'm writing Mrs. And then Lusky, I begin at the top as well. And then the rest of my letters are lowercase after I wrote my L for Lesky. Just like this. And then I would write it one, two, three more times. 